So welcome back everyone, Triple M here, and today we're going to go over the new Shield Experience 8.0.1. Now, a couple months ago, Shield released 8.0, and that was essentially the big unveiling of Android 9.0 Pi. However, a lot of people had issues with their devices, their remotes, their Bluetooth, as well as their drives connected and staying connected to the Nvidia Shield. So upgrade 8.0.1 was pushed out recently, and this essentially was not a major upgrade, but it did have a lot of bug fixes on it. So some of the fixes includes a new design for your menus for your Android Pie. Also, they fixed some display issues, storage issues, especially with your drives with adaptive storage, and also they fixed some network and remote issues that you guys were experiencing. So in this video, we're gonna walk through the setup and please drop your comments in the comment section below. Let me know if you are experiencing issues with the previous version and if this upgrade fix that issue. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So if you're new to the channel, please smash the subscribe button, hit the notification bell guys. Also, I will be announcing a giveaway very shortly. So make sure your notification bell is checked. First things first, if you don't see this upgrade on your screen, like you see now, you can go into your menu to go ahead and check for that update. So if you don't see it here, you're going to go to your settings going to go all the way down to device preferences. You're going to go to about and you're going to click on system upgrade. Go ahead and check for upgrade. Check again and you will see the new experience 8.0.1. So, so as far as what's new, I already covered most of it, but you can see um, upgrade to Android TV Pie. Some of the menus got streamlined. So Hulu Live is now coming to the Shield. So it says that the new Hulu app with the live TV has started rolling out, which is a big plus. I know a lot of people have the Shield and having a silo that application was a bit of a hassle. So cool that that's included as well. Our new upgrades for the following apps. So Netflix, Prime, Fandango, Twitch, Bravo, Sci-Fi, E. And you also have USA, Yahoo, Zumo, Lifetime, MotoGP. As far as the games, guys, GeForce now adds 20 games. So if you guys are into gaming on a shield, you do have some new games to choose from. And here's a list of the other fixes or enhancements that you can experience on this new upgrade. So if you want to go ahead and read more, just go ahead and pause the video right now. But that's all for the upgrades. Let's go ahead and start the process. I'm just going to go ahead and fast forward this video and I'll come back when the upgrade is all done. So Shield Experience completed, let's go ahead and we're going to go home. And the first thing you'll notice is that we do have some of those domain applications upgrading in the background, guys. You can see Nvidia Shield gains as well as Puffin is still upgrading. And if we go all the way over to the apps, you can see Voodoo is also updating. And um, that's just a part of these upgrades. You're going to see some of those um, core applications do the upgrade. Now, one thing I noticed while I go through it, guys, is that this just feels a lot snappier just going through the menus navigating everything just seems a little bit smoother so if we go over to our settings i'm going to go to device preferences and first if you click on customize quick settings you can see we do have a couple added features guys so option for a quick wi-fi disconnect and disconnect your bluetooth setting and we also have the option to check for upgrade that way you can get to it a lot quicker guys we do have shield accessory we're going to turn that on and to view those we're just going to back up a little bit Back up again. Now we do have those quick settings turned on. So right here, we do have the option to check for upgrade, which will bring you directly to your upgrade. Power off. You have your shield accessory, Ethernet. You can toggle that on and off. Same thing with the Bluetooth. And also now if you go to your system, you're going to go down to USB power away from HDMI. So a lot of you guys that have your Plex server running on your Nvidia Shield, uh, some of those drives, they'll get disconnected or they go into a weird mode or they become unreachable once the device goes to sleep. So with these two options, USB port away from HDMI, you can go ahead and set that or you can turn it off during the sleep. Same thing for USB port close to HDMI. So you can turn that off or you can leave it always running. Now, if you do have an HDR compatible TV or monitor, if you go to your advanced display settings, you do have the option to match the color space. And this will overall just make it a better viewing experience on your device. So under the Hulu for Android TV, if you scroll down, guys, you can see that you can watch live and on-demand TV from 60 of the top channels. So that's now included. Let me know if you guys have any issues with that Hulu live TV. Now, there's a noticeable difference between the volume slider. Not a big deal for me, but I believe the other one wasn't as opaque. So more transparent, looks a little bit better, I guess. To me, it doesn't make that big of a difference. Now, under NVIDIA game, if you go to the new releases, you can see some of the new games that's now available since this update. Now, Netflix also now has 
have support for Dolby Audio 5.1, which is a big upgrade. So if you guys have a compatible uh, set of speakers, subwoofers, speaker bars, whatever the case is, you will see that difference. So that's about it for the new update Shield Experience 8.0.1. So a lot of the upgrades are in the background, bug fixes, stuff that you might have had issues with in the past. But definitely want to hear your thoughts on this one, guys. Drop your comments in the comment section below. Let me know if this update fixed some of those issues that you guys were having. And if you guys have any particular issues with this update, please drop them in the comment section as well. That's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.